a new technology such as a replicator will be available to all people. A replicator is not science fiction, it's a device that works according to the laws of physics. Let's take a lobster, a t-shirt, or a phone, for example. In appearance, they are completely different, but if we look at them on a micro level, we'll see that they are made up of the same elementary particles. Only their number is different, and they are arranged in a different way. These particles form atoms, and atoms form molecules. Due to a given combination of these elementary particles, we get either a lobster, or a t-shirt, or a phone. The working principle of the replicator is basically to assemble the elementary particles in the proper combination to get what we need. A hot breakfast or fashionable trousers. Moreover, they are brand new, already ironed, and of the highest quality. Everything depends on the program you've set up. For example, in order for a new gadget to appear in a replicator, you need three components. Energy, particles from which the object will be created, the information about the sequence of their assembly. Energy has been successfully used by humanity for a long time. In the creative society, we'll be able to use both new and long discovered types of energy. Information about an object will be received by scanning the desired objects and uploaded into the replicator. A similar principle has already been implemented in beverage molecular printing technology. Any beverage is printed directly from molecules. The main thing is to have the appropriate amount of particles from which the object we need will be materialized. To do this, we need a utilizer. Unnecessary things will be put in it to be decomposed into elementary particles and placed into cartridges. And the replicator will create whatever you need with the use of the cartridges and information. So you dispose of the garbage and get everything you want. Having a utilizer, you will no longer need to wash the dishes. Just put in it dirty plates, a tablecloth with crumbs, and you're done. A replicator and a utilizer are devices about the size of your microwave or a small cupboard. The magnetic power inside them will help rearrange the particles according to a given combination. In milliseconds and at any moment, you get everything you need and completely free of charge, without harm to your health or the planet's ecology. A replicator will not only benefit every person, it will also benefit the entire planet. For example, to enjoy a delicious fresh bun at breakfast today, a whole chain of complex production processes must occur. You need to plow a field, and you need a tractor for this. To produce a tractor and all its component parts, we have to build different factories. And all these factories emit tons of poisonous gases, whereas their wastewater contains dangerous chemical compounds. We also need raw materials that people extract from quarries and mines. To grow wheat, we need pesticides and chemical fertilizers, which poison the soil and the crops. Delivery of everything we need requires a huge expense, fuel and lubricants. We need transport, trucks, ships and trains. Look how much damage an ordinary bun does to the environment. And the same story is in every manufacturing sector. In the creative society, all these destructive to the environment processes will disappear as everyone will have a replicator at hand. Just press the button and here's a bun for you to eat. Everything will be enough for everyone anywhere on the planet. We'll be able to cleanse the air, the earth, and the ocean of all dangerous radioactive pollution. Garbage will become the most valuable resource, that is, a source of elementary particles for creating new, beautiful things. The Creative Society is a world where you will enjoy the most advanced technology and your life will be financially independent, comfortable, and prosperous.